Uh, man, I slapped this nigga in eighth fish. grade. That's man, what's up. You, know what you ever saying? forgive? Right. Because <laughs> every nigga that ever slapped me, we we can't be cool again. Even though you we cool, it can't be on camera. This <laughs> nigga's hand. I don't need people to know. Has cool. ever made contact Hilarious. with yeah. my face? Mm. Then you are sadly mistaken. Yeah, Jeezy, uh, body guard slapped me before, and he tried to like hide me. He tried Bro. to get me to hide him after I had it blew up, and I'm like, nigga, no, you slapped me before. Bro, you got a Jeezy bodyguard story too? Yeah. Come on, nigga. bro. Okay, we gonna get into it. Yeah. We start, we started. Listen here. More than coaches, the brand is the more than culture show. Come on, Secret Genius. Remo Rod. Ronnie Jordan. In the Tyler absence Cronkers. of Tyler Cronkers. Tyler Cronkers is flew out for his out. birthday. Flew birthday, out. Birthday, out. birthday boy. Shout out to the Aries in his that, business. That nigga didn't take a shirt with him. He didn't he didn't pack he didn't a take shirt. No socks either, bro. I saw a picture on Instagram with Tyler's feet out. He I, never I he never shows his feet. Too, he huh? never shows you his feet. Too, I'm not a zoom. I was about to he say was free today, guys. He never he was one of them people on the beach with socks on. Last time I went to in 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 a span of five minutes. Told a nigga he slapped me and then said I zoomed in on Tyler's feet. Like, what on, the man. fuck is going on, bro? I don't, I don't know. know bro. Do we need to fight? Cause you got some bracelets now, and Remo feels threatened. Out yeah. bracelets, yeah. Yeah. challenge. Shout out bracelet up in forty two hey, years old. Shout out, shout out to Rodney Perry. <laughs> shout out to Rodney Perry. <laughs> okay, with the, came through with the with the, the Wakanda beam. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought you the said braces. Not, oh, okay. bracelets, 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 bracelets. Yeah, got sorry, it, got it. Got Jewels. It. I thought he fixed his teeth. He fixed nah. his. Hey oh, man, we uh, Godly. We used to go by who knew the person the longest, who intros them, and it is me, man. I've been knowing this brother since. When I first started comedy, he, me and him started around the same time. He had wow. a different name back then. I let him tell you all about it. Since then, he gone, he's gone on to groundbreaking media and content. The space we're in right now, this brother was doing that in 09. Years ago. 08. Years ago. You know what I'm saying? 07. You know what I mean? Years. Skits. You know what I'm saying? Acting. Mm -hmm. Movies. TV Riding. shows. He had a stint. And he had a porn week. He was a porn star for like a week. And listen here. I ain't going to tell you how many times I almost watched that. Listen, man. Uh, this guy was all over world <laughs> star when it was cracking. He's Now he's on. He got a new venture with 85 South. He's here to talk about it. My Yee. brother right here from another mother right here. We got Jack Thriller on more than culture. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah. Me, me, me. Man, I appreciate <laughs> the In that intro right there, this is one of the best. That's how I know you really my friend because you, you, you a lie about me. <laughs> you lie <about> me. <laughs> hey, see, this the nigga you need playing shot brother with you. <laughs> shot, hey, come on, JT. I'm you, yo, oh, got that no, sure. Work at JT. Work at JT. <laughs> a married nigga playing shot brother is different. Like okay. it's another level. Well, how would you rock it, bro? How would you rock? How would you describe me to the, to a bitch right there? You come know, on. cause it's called Shut. catfish now. <laughs> describe her. I'd be like. You're going to meet the most interesting person you ever met in your life, and you just need to be ready for the experience. Come on. And I feel like you shouldn't even bring your phone. I, should, I feel like you should be locked in to what he has to say. Ooh. And then I, uh, you might want to give some pussy, too. Hey. That, <laughs> I might throw that in. You know what I'm saying? Just walk away. Because you got to throw him out. My, my, you got to do me. The Ronnie shit is throw some danger in there a little bit. Ronnie okay. overboard. Okay. Ronnie okay. overboard. Go, go I got over, it from man. him. I got okay. it from this man. But then when you get in, when you when you get a good cosign, though, man. Cosign be like any it sign. can change up the the, the most uh, uh uh reluctance of of of, of, of women of suitors. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Real talk, like a chick that normally have the guard all the way. If you get the right cosign, bro, that's the only reason Jay Z got with Beyonce. Mm. It's because somebody cosigned Jay mm. to mm. be. Mm. It ain't no way Jay Z so? just walked up to a fucking Beyonce. It was like. Uh, uh, uh. And no. she was like, yeah, okay. I, I can okay. Roll with you because I'm, I'm, I'm not okay. rolling with that one because I want to fuck with homeboy. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm rolling with, I'm rolling with no, she I'm was scoping him out. I'm, trying to I'm rolling with she was scoping him out like yeah, for a while. You, you sound like she you was scoping him out for a while. Jay-Z been the hide this nigga for a long time. Well, she I was like 17. High, but nigga, come on, bro. 96, she was All like 16, bro. After Biggie. No, I'm sorry. 98. 97, 98. Rockefeller, Rough Rider. Rest in peace, DMX. Rest in peace to Earl Simmons. Before we go any further, the impact this brother had on the hip-hop community was huge. Right I was gonna mm. get into that. I was gonna let you get it into well, your story. No shit. No, we finna get into it now. We yeah, we here. It. We want to pay tribute to the to the to one of the pioneers of this shit. Just one of the 
the pioneer. He brought back hard rap, and niggas fuck with it in every region, every corner of the world. But he was so personable, and I know you had some moments with that man right there. So yeah, yeah, man. Hey, so um, my man Kenny Butler, he was DMX's uh, road manager mm. um, before he was mine. Mm. And uh, when I moved up to New York, man, back in '09 and shit, um, K- Kenny was still locked up. He got out in like uh, '11, and I knew his brother. His brother because they're, they're direct first cousins of Chris Lighty. And so his brother, A.B. Butler. Rest in peace. Uh, Chris everybody Lighty. know A.B. Butler, man. If you 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 uh, bust the rhymes, um, Fat Joe. If you if you listen to any of the podcasts or whatnot, anything they were on, they would talk about A.B. and stuff and blah blah blah. And, um, you know, he's a very stand-up guy. And, um, you know, he he introduced me to his brother, Kenny, um, when Kenny got out and said, hey, man, yo, uh, he gonna watch your back and shit. He gonna, know what I'm saying, help you move around in New York and whatnot. Um, You know, I fuck with you, you a good dude. Chris say you a good dude, it's Chris Lighty. He's alive at the time. And um, uh, 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 he became my road manager, my bodyguard and blah, blah, blah. And um, (laughs) You know, I had I had a truck, but I couldn't drive because I was in New York. And then on top of that, you know, I got one eye. So what I need to be doing? <laughs> right? so I got tired of paying the um, paying the, 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 the what you what you call it the storage fee, the parking garage fee for the truck mm. that I had and shit yeah. at the time. Because you don't need that inside yeah, New yeah. York. It's a it's a nuisance to have a car yeah. and whatnot. And so that, I was trying to look for lead bills as I could to move around as a comedian. Right. And so I put that shit in the storage and stuff. When when I uh, Got uh, 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 Kenny as my um, bodyguard. I gave him the car kind of because he coming to pick me up and drop me off and blah blah. blah. So I had right. him getting out to a car, and I ain't know the nigga, but I know him through people. That's why I was saying a good cosign is amazing. Mm-hmm. A good cosign is amazing. And so, uh, in in uh, response, Kenny gave me this ring, which was purchased by DMX for him long ago before he went to JD, like ten years. Damn. Yeah, and so. When, when DMX got out of, of jail and whatnot, because he had told me the story that it was DMX had bought the shit. I met DMX on my own account doing an interview one day at the Pink Tea Cup. Okay. And um, uh, 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 the guy that owned the Pink Tea Cup, he, he had seen DMX in the street. He was like, he didn't even know if DMX even knew who I was. He just assumed it. Right. Because at the time, I was like hotter than fish grease at that point. I'm like, through. skip over that now, because yeah, you was the first. Skip. Running around here doing interviews with all the I was just about to say it. I was just about yeah. to say it. At the time, I pictured me as DC Young Fly in um, 09, 10, 11, and 12. So mm-hmm. he goes out there, he tell um, DMX that shit. Yo, I got Jack Will up here. He was like, oh, shit. Because, you know, Kenny been talking to, to DMX about me right. for, um, and, and why he was locked up in okay. jail and shit. So he came from wherever the fuck he was in the PT Cup up to the... the, the um, the, uh, 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 the, the, the the secret door that we was in doing the interviews, because it was a secret like door, like where you move a bookcase and you go up, and oh, I would shit. do my interviews up there outside of thisis50.com. Mm. And I was interviewing this guy that he's really famous. I don't even want to say his name right now, too, because the nigga popping, if he wasn't popping right now, then, <laughs> because it, I'm about to get to a really good part. <laughs> uh, um, I was interviewing this nigga. We had just got finished with the interview. DMX come up in there and he was like, yo, what's up, nigga? Da, 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 yo, I appreciate you taking care of my man and blah, 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 blah. And this nigga that's popping right now, mm-hmm. he wasn't popping then. Mm-hmm. He like, yo, what's up, man? I'm such and such and such. And he like, hey, man, you don't see me talking to this nigga right here? And uh, <laughs> damn, I'm going to say this nigga name. I'm going to tell y'all afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> For the Patreon. We'll- <laughs> <laughs> Famous New York nigga, this nigga's popping. Damn, Nori. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Jim <laughs> D- 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 said he he uh he saw I had the ring on and shit. He was like, man, yeah, this shit supposed to be seen and whatnot and blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know you and uh, Holmes is cool and shit. Oh, that's I said, dope. so you really did about it? He was like, yeah, man, this is, I got it from that's my man. But you, my man, I was my man when I was locked up and blah blah blah. Watch all of your shit. Oh, I'm like, crazy. What? Fuck out of here. That's wild, bro. Yeah, same thing. LL. All the niggas I grew up from New York, from being from down what? south, they were fucking with me. Even if I, because that's how powerful the internet is. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and, well, I was about to say what, well, but it still is. Yeah, yeah it is. You was early on the content as yeah. far as. Yeah, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was doing a podcast before podcasts had came out. Facts. Yeah. All I was trying to do was just, you know, just 
get seen so I can further my comedy career. But this journalism thing took off first. Right. And, you know, uh, now, 10 years later, the comedy is starting to catch up. Mm. Like literally ten years. Can later. I rewind? Because I know I know a sure, lot man. of a lot about you, but I just want to go back to you, you when. Go back. Let's go. Can ahead we just go in. back to just? I remember when you and Duval was running around and y'all put out them skits. Like it's, it was it was like it was O two, but it was like what people are doing now. Yeah. But you had the funniest shit. You was interviewing Michael Vick. What? Nigga. You ain't seen that shit, no. nigga. And. It was in the middle of the Michael Vick trial, and this nigga kept asking Michael Vick about the herpes. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. Oh, so oh, funny, Mexico. bro. Hey, the nigga had sent a death threat. <laughs> and then I was, yeah. I was upset about the shit because I was like, I love Michael Vick. But you was doing it first. Like, everybody knows we call it trolling now, but yeah, it's called trolling. shock jock. It was like you had to see these people. Like, yeah. it, they thought, you know what I'm saying? And I was scared. But you said, you, this nigga kept saying, he like, said, did you think we forgot about security. you having them herpes? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't forget, nigga, that shit was so I didn't funny. know it was a big deal, me so saying funny. that he had herpes. I'm like, people already said you had herpes. The girl said you had herpes. That's why I know when I was saying it, it was even better. Uh, that nigga had called 50. And was like, you fucking with a nigga? They're going like, to talk about shit. me like that? That nigga right. went like, was hitting 50 up like, man, fire that nigga. This right. was back in 010. Like, damn, nigga, I'm from Atlanta too, bro. Hey, man, don't do fuck me like that, that shit, bro. bro. And then he was like, you're going to kill me when he see me. His brother will hit me up in the goddamn, the, what was the DM before the DMs was? The MySpaces. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Did you see your instant message? Man, the nigga was sending me instant threats. Instant, instant threats. Instant threats. <laughs> instant threat. man, I was scared. It, but I was like, I, I didn't, because I, 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 the internet was so real. I forgot the nigga don't know where I live for real. For real. For real, for real. Yeah, for real, for real. It was just internet. Right. So going through that early, did you like take that like, okay, yeah, well fuck all these niggas. <laughs> you know what's No, like I, I wasn't like the fuck all these niggas, because I was like, I'm I'm still trying to get on to get my comedy career popped off. Mm -hmm. But and, and I was following my heart and you know things that I, I thought that I was saying I saw it was, it was triggering in the right way. Mm -hmm. I didn't see what I was doing wrong, but I did want to be everybody's friend. And I didn't know that the trolling shit, when, like when, when you doing it on, a, on, on, on that type of level, because I, I was like damn near almost like a male Wendy Williams. Mm. No, it, that's exactly what it is. Mindy about. Williams. Yeah, Mindy yeah, I ain't. Williams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mandy Williams. Mandy yeah, Williams. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I did a show called So Disrespectful. <laughs> yes. And, and, and I lived up to the brand. There you go. You got to live up to it. Yeah. Brand. And so at the time, like, like, like 50 was, he was cheering me on doing the shit. See, I didn't hilarious. realize that I wasn't in G unit. <laughs> <laughs> what moment did you realize you were not in G unit? Bro, they didn't get your chain or nothing? No, no I had to buy mine and whatnot. And I bought mine for branding purposes, but then. When I actually was about to get into a fight one day, I was like, man, you know, yo, Fifty, this nigga tried to jump me the other day. He's like, damn, so what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, wow. You're like, supposed to mount up. You finna go get this thing. Right. right. He's like, hey, look, Jack, you listen. Time out, time out. Okay. <laughs> I think we got a miscommunication here. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into Curtis. This is how he talked. He turned to Curtis on this, you? Yeah, yeah, this is how he, Yeah, so listen, um, you, <laughs> how do I say this? <laughs> You do the interviews for thisis50.com. <laughs> what we do over here for G Unit is, you know, we're entertaining the people and blah, blah, blah. So if, you know, Yayo gets into a scuffle and whatnot, or if banks get into a scuffle, or, you know, everybody else is signed to, to me and everything that I make money off of, even though I do make money off of you, that um, <laughs> it's, I, I'm obligated to do the certain things and shit to, to make it entertaining. But what you do, that, man, this is, bro, you, you, you different. <laughs> you different, mm -hmm. like Howard Stern. Right. Like, and then, so this is when I would come and he would bring me back, and I'm like, Howard Stern? I'm like, Howard Stern. Right. And I forgot all about that I went in G Unit again. Mm -hmm. and, wow. and he was, yeah, he, he had, in, like, he, he, wasn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't pimping me into this. He was really giving it to me real. Give me the game. Yeah, he was giving me the game. He said, you're supposed to be entertaining, like, you know, go in, go in. You even make jokes about me, mm -hmm. but don't go too far. Because this, you know, said, keep it entertaining, keep it funny. That's what right. you do. And I was taking it to a whole nother level and because that's what's naturally inside of my spirit. But <laughs> I'm, I'm not realizing at the same time that, you know, some of the things that you say, people, 
people believe you because yeah. Yeah. You know, they see everything people see on the that internet. That shit crazy, that shit bro. Real. We grew up when the internet was not real. It wasn't real. Like your at name. You be having whole rappers mad at you. I don't want to mention all the rappers that's upset at you. But it's like the the journey like that you on right now. Yeah, yeah. And listen, I can fight too, but I don't want to. Come on, man. <laughs> you, I can, but I don't. I don't, want to. I don't want to. I never wanted to. I, I did all that shit from goddamn foreign to goddamn when high school ended. I went. I, 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 I went. I, high school ended. ended what well, high school did you go to in Atlanta? Redan. You went to Redan. Yeah, I went in in '96. Came out in '96. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was hard, man. Nigga, I'm fighting <laughs> every day in that motherfucker. Because if you said something about me, I was gonna say something about about, about you. Right. And the, I, was, I was gonna go just as hard as you did. But the difference is, I ain't have nobody. I it was just me, myself, and I. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so I, me, I, myself, I, and I. Beyonce, bro. Stop, bro. That is the <laughs> name of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and you can't do that. Yeah. You you can't do that, especially in, in Atlanta. This Atlanta is a place where you see niggas get stumped out. I, was I made it my on. business in life never to get stumped out. That's a good business. Right? Yeah. Very good business. Yeah, I mean, learned how to run real fast. I run and ran like a what it was a four two. Okay. Four two or some shit like that. <laughs> Fuck like, out of here. Yeah, me. That's it. And then yeah, 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 like that. Wait, do it again. <laughs> you, 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 you. I, I. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I, I you. You, you. Oh, whoa! Oh, okay. shit. You fucked them folks up. <laughs> yeah, that way. <laughs> that way. That way. And ran straight out of school. Well, we gonna That's keep it right. non-violent now. Yeah. So, cause we the old <laughs> niggas now. We, we the, old now. We old. are the but old But I was old then. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dog, they're getting beat up. Oh, Even when you win. Right. Even when you win, you lose. Period. you lose. Cause it hurt. It hurt, bro. Even when you getting bragging rights and niggas said, nigga, that nigga beat the fuck out. If you ain't got insurance, come on, you still taking a shower. It hurts. You, 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 one of your teeth fall out when you got damn twelve years old in the front of the back and whatnot. That shit's not cool. <laughs> right. But you got bragging rights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't need that. But get winning fights is overrated. Overrated. I learned that a long time ago, but then I always had one eye, so you, you never stop learning this shit because you never stop having one eye. And kids, <laughs> they, man, they, they, they are so disrespectful and so rude and evil. Boy. Is that where the, the comedy came time from? You, yeah, when the first time you encountered some man, the shit, eye I, disrespect? I was in the, some the, eye disrespect. What was the shit before, the, before, before kindergarten? Pre-K. Pre-K, Pre 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 man, because kids ain't he never said, seen. this shit before? They, they haven't seen niggas that look different like that. Like I had an eye that was in the back by my brain. Mm. And you know, they, the kids, they, when they see that shit, it kind of fuck them up a little bit and it scare, it scare other kids. And, mm -hmm. uh, and they, was, they would say things about me and, and you know, even after watching the, the dopest Disney movie, <laughs> you know, it'll fuck shit up and I have to end up fighting as a kid kid. Damn. And, Damn. and it never stopped. It was ongoing until my mama couldn't take it no more when I got in the ninth grade. And she was just like, all right, this is enough of this shit. Yo, you, go, you gotta go get your GED. Right. And, and you know, I didn't want to do that because, you know, you miss out on prom. Mm -hmm. You miss out on goddamn all the other shit that come, that's cool with high school. And you have I to thought you out. played football or something. I did, but not in school. Throw up tackle yeah, shit. Yeah, remember oh, you in. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 man, man, and uncle yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it don't count. It's the preseason. It is it not counting at all. It, it Nobody don't. cares. Did you go hard though when you was out there with them? Oh yeah. That, so, nigga, mo you, go, you go like it's Friday night lights. You remember one hundred percent, and I was one of the baddest motherfuckers in my family. <laughs> 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 but who cares? But who cares? It's 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 good doing the holidays though. You can walk through the house. Some <laughs> it's some motherfuckers in, in my, my family. family. Yeah. But who cares? But who cares? No, crazy. that shit. Nobody <laughs> believes you. That's a t-shirt. But who cares? Who cares? It's a great shirt. Who yeah, you you cares? you the hottest. You you the best worst nigga. <laughs> in your family. Hey, bro, as long as you burst, man. Yeah, you can yeah. burst. Best worst. <laughs> it's, no, it's, no, it's no proof until you get around cousins. Yeah. And nobody care what your cousins say because he related to you. Because he related can to you. Can I ask you something, bro, though? Anything. 
It was one summer, my nigga. Sure enough. It looked like a longer time than it was, but you was rolling heavy with Brian Pumper. Yeah. Oh, man. Bro, and why you was why? with Brian Pumper, dog? And my nigga, but, but what y'all don't know is that he was, was texting me the whole time. That was a strange the strange time, The funniest bro. shit in life. Brian Pumper is this a strange nigga. This nigga sent me a nigga picture you, of Brian Pumper hand on the gear shifter of like a Ford Focus <laughs> with a bunch of jewelry on it. Aluminum <laughs> Ford. He's like, this is what I'm doing today. Like, I think he said something simple like that. This is what I'm doing today. So what are you doing, Jack? So how was your ride? It's, it's, it? it it's over with. It's, you got it, it all it's, it's out, out my boy. I, I got it all out of <laughs> Yeah. You got it out the bottom of that boy. I be like that with weed. I need all of this. Let me smoke this bag. You know, when you get home, you you, you be like, damn, I should have got the last drop. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else is looking, you know. <laughs> and you ain't got no more liquor at the house because you, that's not, it's not like that at your house. Right. You know, I, I saw that this, y'all had and gave me this free bottle of 1800 and whatnot, and I'm, I appreciate it. That's what I was doing. I was appreciating. Exactly. You ever meet a nigga that's a, that's really appreciate shit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm him. No matter what you give me, I'm with it. I hate when you give a nigga water and he don't take one sip out the water. Oh, and leave it. And leave the water. You be like, bruh. You be like, my nigga. My nigga. My nigga water. Give you some tap. I learned how to appreciate that. Now I take that shit out and take the top off and put that inside a cup. Then put that in the refrigerator. Hmm. Save for later on. Later, I, water. I, I, you gotta look at the, the glass or the, the water bottle. Why, why don't yeah, you put the water bottle in the refrigerator? Because his mouth was on it. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't oh, want I oh, know, you but pour, he pours that water oh, but in okay. a cup because he's not wasteful. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah, lot yeah, to do. Yeah. It, kind of. I ain't doing that. But it's, not, it's, it's COVID, pouring too. It back through his kiss, though. Well, I, I try to like. Burn it's a it. back kiss watch. You get, you get a lighter. You go across the top. Of it, you burn his lips off. You burn his lips off. <laughs> but like, how did you meet Brian Pumper? <laughs> you saw what I did. You saw what I did. He got off that you saw what I did, right? That yeah, I was trying to go to the water. Uh, he got saved. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, I, I was uh, doing Shade Forty Five G on the radio and. Um, he was a guest on there that day, and uh, we had a really good time. And I noticed that uh, this is when I first got there. I noticed that he looked like Lloyd Banks. He does, <laughs> and I was yes. making jokes about it the whole time. The whole time, and then he was like, "Man, yo, dude, you, 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 I really appreciate this. I feel like you, this made me look good." And I was like, well, I, ain't you supposed to look good?" <laughs> did he have a G in it? Wife beat on while he was saying he this to you. He one hundred percent did. And he was like, "Hey, man, you ever thought about doing porn?" I said, "No." Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I like it though. I, I, I definitely. I don't have a porno body. Or I don't have a porno dick. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, my body is very secretive. That's a weird I have a, question. A to ask secretive a body. A secret. He Your asked you to do porn. <laughs> yeah, I said it was secret because you know, you know how you 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 look at a nigga on TV when you watch a porn and you like, shit, I could do this shit. When I look at my dick, I don't think that niggas will be inspired. And by watching <laughs> porn, and, yeah, your I, dick is uninspiring. It, it's not inspiring. Hey man, I've been married. For you, 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 you have you bro. recorded yourself fucking somebody before? It and is. it's not the same way it's, when you watching. Like, damn, man, I'm not. I, I, I had. I wasn't really killing the pussy like I thought I was. I had one sex <laughs> tape and it was horrible. It was. You, you see, what I'm saying you couldn't see shit. You couldn't see the girl. It was just me. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was bad. It was like I, it was just two footies in there. I was, <laughs> <laughs> it looked like I was fucking two feet. <laughs> like you, oh, like you killed the wicked witch. Bad nigga, <laughs> terrible. I had a shirt on and shit. It was a lot. <laughs> so he was like, "No, you ain't gotta do. You ain't gotta fuck no shit like that." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool." And, <laughs> right, and, man. Yeah, where you going with this? So what I gotta do? Right. And I, I'm just getting to New York and whatnot. I have no money. He said, "Man, I give you a uh, 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 five grand to host it, like." Host the shit and then just throw it on thisisfitted.com like to help promote it and stuff. And you know, I wasn't thinking about residuals or no shit like that at the mm -hmm. time. I them five thousand dollars is, is 
That's I it. needed that. Yes, sir. And so I was like, yeah, let's do that. He said, I'm going to fly you out everything. I'm going to put you in a hotel and whatnot. I said, nigga, I'll see you out. Just- so Brian Papa flew you out. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, this nigga trying to beat, bro. I would have definitely been like, this but hey, bro, hold on. This, this, no, out. wait, it get worse. <laughs> it get worse. <laughs> Listen, he flew me out. But I was so cheap. I, I, he nigga was going to put me I said, you fly me out. And I stay at your house. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Y'all cuddle. You made it easy. <laughs> yeah, I made it because I want. I like give me, give me the hotel money. And he oh said, yeah, I there you hotel go. Gonna call. See, I'm over here thinking about days you in. You smart, right? Yes, sir. So I, I days in to me, that's like thirty nine dollars. I said that's an extra hundred dollars for me to be out wow. there for a week yeah. when I was supposed to be in a five star. Uh, place in my mind. Right, right. This is all learning, you know. It's all learning. I get that this nigga got a fucking studio apartment, so every you can you can uh, see, see studio, hear everything. Yeah, you can see everything. There's a bathroom in there and a space. That's it. He was trying to get you the hotel so he could take a shower. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just made a deal too sweet for him, but he wasn't gay. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, nobody, nobody he didn't said do anything. He, he nobody didn't, was nobody, surprised. Nobody Listen, said I, no I noticed where you're going. No, I noticed no, where you're going. Nobody was. I noticed going where you're going. No, 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 but I want to justify why I was there for a week and a week. No, I was there for a week. Made a declaration. Yeah, you know, homosexuality happened. I'm sure you okay. got ass, nigga. I ain't. All right. All right. <laughs> you, <laughs> I thought Remo was calling you. He on his phone. Uh, I said, that's your ringtone. Bro, that's the funniest shit. Hell Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, reading Rainbow is my ringtone. Uh, you no, know, Remo is the Barbara's son. That's some that. shit. <laughs> That's you just can't let go. Hell. You yeah. just got there, got to hold on. You don't look like LeVar Burton to you? That's hilarious. You don't look like LeVar Burton to you a little bit? Oh, shit, you do, bro. That's my daddy. <laughs> bro, nigga, if I didn't see you were running, I'd believe you. Hey, you ain't got to take my word for it. Ah! <laughs> I know, I see what you're doing. Dirt, dirt, dirt. I don't know what I'm saying. But you don't have to take my word for it. Ha <laughs> Look at you over there laughing at us. <laughs> Holding it like a cough in a mask. Right. Yeah. You're gonna poot on yourself. Right. Let that out, man. Share that thing. Yeah, just like you do with that poop. Yeah. Just share it with the world. If you really like this, man, share this. Please. Subscribe. Share this with your friends. Comment. You know, get our analytics up. You know how it goes. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. That's what you're supposed yeah. to do. Stop Support. being selfish and holding all the laughter to yourself. Yeah, that ain't cool. And what not? The kids say run it up. Ramadan. <laughs> You ain't gotta take my word for it. Here's a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I was like, man, let's call it "Bust Another Die Trying." Oh uh, God. This was this problematic. Yeah. It, 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 it was at first, but when the shit hit and was on World Star every day, and it had then brought uh, four million views a day and energy back to ThisIs50.com at a climate when you know Rick Ross was winning with as far mm-hmm. as the whole Fifty Cent thing went yep. back then. So yep. you know, I had and turned that shit all the way up by accident. Mm. They wasn't expecting that shit to do what it did, right. and, and uh, you know that they embraced it, right. and the shit had then turned into something else. And I, I created a new style of interviewing, mm. and the way that people uh, viewed um, uh, 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 social media platforms mm. when it came to a uh, um, uh, what, what do you call an influencer. Uh, Ain't gonna lie, like so you got to step back. World star was a pivot for not just hip hop culture, but for, like you said, like influencer rhetoric. Culture, shit, you influencer know what I'm culture, really. Just like, like to be able to be an I'm influencer or daddy. somebody. Yeah, you I'm Soulja Boy, daddy. you Soulja Boy Duval gotta be Bruh. somewhere in the internet. Yeah. Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. somewhere. Show you know what what Show shout out to Lil Duval shout for out teaching to Duval. me the game mm. and showing me how to be Jack Thriller and whatnot. You know, this was back, when I was honey bun and I, I was just trying to find my way in because I didn't know nothing and I ain't know nobody. So Talk it was a lot of tough name. love back then. It was a lot of tough running scene it every night. And, you know, he was my friend in secret. <laughs> in secret. <laughs> he, he would answer all my phone calls. He wouldn't be seen with but you. But now we'd be seen. No, no, I was no. gone, man. I was, I was hustling. Man. Yeah, but I when was, he came in, he was like, hey, what's up, what? <laughs> I, do, I do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I do that now. Hey, what he do? What he do? What he do? What's up, what? <laughs> he acknowledged me, but he had to protect his rep. Right. What eight laws of power? Protect your rep at all costs. Come on now. And I wasn't a good guy to be seen around back then. You know, 
It, That's like, hilarious. I had the cooties. There was the, we the went on the road, nigga. Don't do that. We went out of town. No one knew. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta claim you in public. Know what I got? Nigga, nigga, uh-huh. nigga uh-huh. had uh-huh. me on rendezvous shows. Uh-huh. <laughs> when you know me in real life, I'm a great guy. Right. In public, I was the nigga you had to get to know. Mm. When you like, hold on. Damn it. This nigga cool. Right, but the 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 the, uh, the, the per- image, mm, perception, the, the yeah yeah the perception and the concept of honey bun. What is he? Because does he make it masculine? It was just a little off putting. First yeah. of all, yeah, let's number, talk about the honey bun name. Honey bun with a Z. Because talk about the name, bro. Yeah. Where did you get the name from? <laughs> what is the name? A honey about? bun came from uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Mm. Cedric the Entertainer had this joke about the dude named Delicious. And he's like, I ain't gonna call no grown ass man delicious. He did say that. And so when I seen this joke, when I was thinking I was like 14 years old, you was shit, like, what's delicious? I, I wanna, I want, I want, it was so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, it, I thought that shit was hilarious, man. Was so like hilarious. to the point where I was like, damn, if I, if I ever really do do this comedian shit, I need something that gonna make niggas uncomfortable, but this shit funny as fuck at the same time. The, 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 the whole, the whole, the, the aura of this joke. But it couldn't be delicious because everybody gonna know that's where that shit from. Right. And so it defeats the purpose of being original in there. Like I'm telling you this shit now and it probably don't make sense till now. Mm. After what, 20 years later, well, more than that. But yeah, uh, um, it was some shit in Atlanta called a chat line. Yeah. And that's what it's like the internet. I remember on that the shit. phone. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all remember that, right? Hell yeah. 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 yeah okay. Shit, that was nigga used to be fucking them big girls off the chat. That's line. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's right. Right. My homeboy used to knock the big girls. The nigga, that, that's how it was on yeah. there. That was the first catfish ground. Fuck you mean? Oh, that yeah. was where catfish was that born. Was that was born. born. Yes. Yeah, that, that was, was the cesspool of right. catfish. So what happened Just was. Just meet me at South Decap Mall. We'll see what's happening. Yeah, catfish yeah. Cat- Avondale yeah. Mall, South yeah, Decap yeah, Mall. Sir. North Decap. North Decap. This shit was dangerous too, by the way. It was very dangerous because it was a lot of niggas killed going, getting killed, going to go meet motherfucker too. What? But to keep in mind, (laughs) social media went out. You didn't hear about it. No, because it wasn't no social media. Facts. Yeah. You know how many niggas get killed that you don't never hear about they get killed? Except that only they family know. Yeah. (laughs) And they friends. Right. But we only know now because of social media. Mm -hmm. Like, it's okay. Well, it's not okay to get your ass whooped now. But back then, (laughs) nobody. It was okay to get your ass whooped when you was in, in 96, 92, all that, because it was nobody. You could tell niggas was a tie. <laughs> you, 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 you could tell niggas tie. you was Now, now, nigga. That shit is online. It's on, that live forever. For like four different angles. From you four niggas snapped, know you got bro. your ass whooped right. forever. Your kids gonna know. And your mama know. You can't lie. Yeah. And you fell back down when you got that's knocked what, out. That's what. That's how the try to get up. And blow that's how the cucumber challenge lives too. Forever, your yes. son gonna have to roast forever. <laughs> yeah, because his mom. mama was deep this, this, a cucumber. This, this what I don't understand yeah. about women that you, be fuck, online you fuck them up. Because you don't think about your son. You're gonna be yo, your kids. Period. Your family. Because what if you get saved? Hey, that was my past. It's, now this is a testimony. You know what I'm saying? You got to have yeah, testimony. Niggas, this niggas gonna look at you like this. <laughs> they look at you like soldier girl. Just because I swallowed a cucumber online don't mean that I cannot be a priest and a... Uh, uh, you, you know what I noticed? You, but, I don't uh, like men, Snowball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you right. don't believe that nigga. You don't believe You don't believe him. him. I'm not gay no more, y'all. The okay, fuck? bitch. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> not the little You're Richard. taking a break, but uh, yeah, did, <laughs> Christmas did. time, something happened. Come on now, <laughs> you doing something for your birthday, nigga? Come on, come on now, <laughs> come on now. That nigga did something for your birthday. Yeah, yeah, because who about. is who is the, the the regular girls is having sex with a guy that's not gay no more? That happens too. Yeah, that does happen, with, uh, bro. No, famous. no, they don't. They not know. I'm not not the girls that's really not dating people that are gay. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, is, people gonna do what they got to do to get this retweet. No, we're not talking about them. Okay. Boy, that's we, crazy we, as we, hell. We, we, we talking about regular people as this. People <laughs> as this. Everybody looking for their 15 minutes, though. Everybody, I mean, I ain't looking for the girl that looking. Well, I'm with somebody that, that will that will, will pop him back in the day. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Can you, can you no, no, divulge? You gonna see it? 
Okay. You gonna see it later on. Okay. Uh, but listen, that was probably better. You got you Shaka Khan. You and Shaka. You Shaka, Shaka Khan. JJ fans. Shaka Khan. Yeah. This yeah. nigga is fucking. Yeah. Yeah, push it real <laughs> this nigga is this nigga push it real good. This nigga fucking goddamn llama 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 llama. Yeah, you but fucking but Sheila. So the, the the point I'm trying to make is Jack they, Thrillers with big legs. <laughs> <laughs> she did a lyric sing intro. Nigga, that funny. But legs <laughs> is so oh, funny. Man. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. You fucking miss Sheila. Sheila's world. She lives in his lap. Oh, you nigga. Double points, double points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tyler <laughs> Come on, will be man. proud. Come on, man. Tyler be proud. You got to fill in for the guy there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but LeBron. look. So listen, man. Yeah. You, after the Brian Pumper stint, like you have, you became, <laughs> and it was only a week. We only shot a week. It looked like no, 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 no. It it was like it was like a year and a half. Y'all yeah. got four DVDs. No, I bought. I, I bought I, three. Yeah, and listen, he stretched it out, but we was only together for a week. And yeah, that's they be how they fucking end. that much. That nigga pimp. Yeah, you out. we got a hundred yeah. videos out of you. Yeah, he, yeah. So you had to watch him yeah, fuck all you, them ladies every time. Like no, you were like out the room. And shit. <laughs> and it, 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 that shit ain't what you think it is. And plus, I ain't never been a train nigga either. I always thought trains was gay. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, you know, because I don't like. I think I don't want to see nobody else dick in the room. Yeah, or your shirt off. At all. <laughs> yeah, hey, it was a nigga. I was at LA Fitness this morning. Nigga tried to. He like, hey man, yo. That shit you be doing when you be interviewing him, and we was in the locker room. I'm like, bro, don't, don't stop talking your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to your Man, nips, bro. I don't, I don't, no, stop me when we in the sauna and shit. What if he just did stop like? What if he covered his nips and was like, is this cool? No. Nah, <laughs> what about now? Man, I, don't, I don't like none of that shit. <laughs> you know how you? That's the funny because you one of them niggas who make niggas uncomfortable with that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. shit. And now you uncomfortable. Yeah, that's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's I, your kryptonite. It's, hilarious. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's that's yeah that's my Hancock situation. Oh God! Yeah, <laughs> literally. Dude. Hey, so were you like, uh, like Howard Stern, like shock jocks? Like, were I didn't you think ever? It was a shock jock, for real, for real. That is the funniest part of it. Because the shit, because run, the shit run, you been doing, run, tell you, I've been doing. But the run, shit, it, you, it wasn't no never turned down. It wasn't never. This shit back. It still look once again. You seeing me in 2010 doing that shit? I was doing it back in 2000. Period. Period. Oh, and, 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 and goddamn. <laughs> at pep rallies. What the fuck? When were you doing it? Yeah, yeah it, it started off at pep rallies, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it started off back in, in, in elementary school and all that. It, I was being myself. I was being myself and whatnot, and uh, um, and I, I wanted to be somebody. I was inspired by Michael Jackson and, mm. and uh, Bobby Brown and Richard mm. Pryor, okay. Ed, Eddie Murphy. Yep. My favorite comedian in the world is Jamie Foxx. Mm. You know, I think he's most the most entertaining. You see my shirt? You see? Come on, dog. That's on, cold. Man. Cold as ice. <laughs> Jamie Foxx right there. The the Jamie Foxx is the man. Yeah, yeah. I think he's the most talented comedian that ever came out. Mm. Ever. That's a fact. Ever. He came, came out. That's Same. a fact. Same. He did not tell any lies. Joke. I, I was scared to say it, but yet yeah, 100%. Wow. 100%. Jamie, Jamie Foxx Fox is, is the man. He's a talented nigga, bro. He is a talented nigga, bro. He's like, he could have existed in any era. In any era. Yeah. Like any era. Vaudeville shit. Yeah, and and sure. even though he's, because you know people be trying to say people are underrated or what? Mm -hmm. He's not underrated. He got Oscars. He got he got Oscar before. There's no way to be underrated. Yeah, there ain't no way Fox. to be underrated. You 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 where you supposed to be. Yeah. You where you supposed to be. Hell he yeah. did his thing. Mm. Yeah, I did an episode of your show one time with a porn star. And <laughs> I didn't know how married I was until I until I hang with this nigga. I don't mean knowing how married I am. And she was like doing uncomfortable shit. And every time I was like, <laughs> <laughs> on the playback, she was like, yeah, we ain't gonna put that out. I'm about oh. to say where that footage. Is. <laughs> she was doing too much. He said she was she was doing a lot. I was like, yeah, Yo, it, like let's, let's and see that's the thing too. Run, I'm glad you said that because I, I hated not to air that episode because my dog was there. Come on, and I needed people to see that. But he was there at the same time. The girl that was doing. So my, I didn't I didn't want that footage to ruin like if she was ever to get saved she never did so if I'd have known what I know now <laughs> I would have put it out just because she's <laughs> hey let her swallow a balloon on film bro. yeah I thought right. that she was gonna come back from that because we were friends mm -hmm. but you, what I had to realize is <laughs> people gonna be who they are no matter if you like them or not you just have to accept people stop for saving what them Jack stop saving they, them. I, stop being a hero come on now stop being a hero I let people be who they're gonna do be a sketch you can't like save that? nobody. Well, you was a hero, yeah. Don't like a save that. Shit. No, I didn't. No, that, he that was, was in the soldier. I was Superman. Video. They yeah, don't want to be saved. I was Superman. Superman, that whole that was me. Could you talk don't about that day? Because you came to the comedy yeah, club. Nigga, you Superman. I'm Superman. You came to the comedy club right after that. As you did, you today Bruh. years old. 
today years old. Realizing I was Superman and the Soldier Boy. Right. This is what Dotnet for the cut to the Soldier Boy. Hey, dog, right. niggas don't come out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> you, nigga, you, Superman. Oh, the nigga, the dog, I, nigga, been doing bro, this for a long Superman, time, bro. a long time. But that's and, what I like though, cause you, it was the shit that everybody was too cool to do, and you was like, nigga, oh, what? I, this is bro, perfect for okay, me. Okay, so my cousin. Okay. Uh, his name is Playboy. Little your Playboy. Real cousin or your play cousin? Real, real, yeah, real, real cousin. You gotta first ask. Cousin. You gotta ask back. Yeah, no, no, but I'm, 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 I hate that shit too. I don't, I, we, I don't do play cousins. I don't do God. You don't family. do play cousins. You ain't got nope. no play cousins. No, no God oh, family. No man. God fathers. You ain't God never. Kids. You ain't never None called a nigga your cousin and no, wasn't your cousin. No. When you oh, have some man. kids, you're gonna have a God pair or something. No, I'm not. No. When nigga, you die, nigga. Them going to your grandma, they, 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 your, whoever your grandma is, some niggas you, that's alive in your family, they not they coming not to my to house. That don't make sense to me. You talk about you, still people you talked about people, people God, how, how important a vouch is early. It's no bigger vouch in life cousin. than calling a nigga your play cousin. And there, how that's, many of your play cousins you still cool with now? For real, for real. Damn. Damn. About three. I'm not. I don't know. I don't even remember who my play I only had, like, I ain't, See most of them. See what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I had two play cousins. I was kind of slick upset. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't play cousin me back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, gotta be it was a mutual. It's gotta be it was, a mutual. It was a one-sided was play cousin. Play cousin. Bro, what kind of nigga is you? And I was they playing. Maybe, maybe I was just playing. One-sided play, was play just, cousin. Horrible, bro, that's bro. some stalker type shit, bro. He just drafted um, play cousins. Yeah, this nigga just creating play hey, cousins, cousins relationships like, out of nowhere. We, we would play cousins <laughs> when we was playing baseball together, but then, you know, a nigga might be three, four grades older. By the time you in high school and he is seeing you a freshman, he's like, you hey, ain't. bro, come on. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, let, yo, let that shit go, son. But y'all lost touch in the middle somewhere, though. We did, yeah, though. It had to happen. That nigga we did, disowned yeah, both his parents. Right now. You see that? I like what you're working. You it's, see, it's called so, therapy. So it was I wrong? No, nah, I mean you ain't you ain't wrong, nigga. You Superman? How you wrong? But see, yeah, this, listen, I came up in an era where like I never was cool to nobody but people that was related to me for real. Hmm. Cause you ain't want no goddamn play cousin. So. Yeah, cause the only reason why people like me cause I had shit. If I had a toy or a, 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 a fucking snack that they wanted, or some shit like that. <laughs> a honey I know bun. That that's called that's fake bun. love. <laughs> <laughs> That's fake love. I never wanted none of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even today, when people be trying to fake love me, fake and love I already you. know what the fuck that shit is. Come on, man. And you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of that big bro shit. I don't know you for then, real. Then I, man, get the fuck out of here with your big bro ass shit. <laughs> anybody <laughs> that know me. Slow mo that <laughs> hat fall, boy. God damn. Ask anybody that see me now, come over to me, Uptown Comedy Club, with some of that shit. Hey, ask them how I act. Who used to know me oh when I, I knew you when you were honey bun and all that old dumb shit. <laughs> I remember when I was honey bun too and you didn't fuck with me. Mm. I did. Tell them folks how you almost killed me because you ain't tell me your other eye didn't work and you drove my truck in the mountains. <laughs> 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 tell them for how you almost murdered me in my, good, in my new truck. <laughs> what happened, bro? He was, it was scary. It was the scariest shit. Was it in Tennessee? Bro. Tennessee, when that bitch coming around I'm telling around you, bro, Tennessee got them crazy So we gonna do a school or something. He go with me. We yeah. coming back, and it's raining, and it's Aww. like, you know that That's part of, when I was his play cousin. Nigga, shut <laughs> up, Jack. There you go. Don't act like it ain't never been around. When his, I was his play cousin. I'm like, okay, I'll go. I go. I go. I, I, I go. You, you got to be gay when you when you play. Cause I go. I go. No, you, no, you don't. No, you don't. You, got, you got the rules fucked up. That's why you ain't never had one. Okay. Because <laughs> you right. this gay nigga is gay to be a play cousin. I wasn't. That, I didn't say you was my play cousin. I was, we, was, we was kicking it. We yeah, because he came we, with that gay shit. It. You was like, we never mind. It. We, we went to a it. show. We were going to a show. We were going to a show. Why you keep repeating me like I'm lying? I'm sorry. I'm, I just, I, 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 I'm now I'm getting closure. I'm getting closure now. I never told you how I felt about this. He so is totally about coming Going out. out of town with me? I'm letting you know. I was happy to be on the road, but I knew that, you know, you you, you wasn't my friend in, in, in front of people, and now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make me feel good. You know, I ain't gonna even, it didn't make me, not at the time. I'm, I'm I didn't gonna, know I had to display. I'm glad y'all working it out. He's a very popular people. guy. Running Joe is very popular Runnin guy. Running is the man. Like, all, all, all the, the big ass comedians fuck with running, running, we're going on road, kings of comedy, all kind of shit. He's so talented, man. Mm -hmm. so, man, man, he has uh, um, a god-like talent. 
And I wanted to be his friend. And <laughs> This shit sounds Are you talking to? I just went and picked up his telling me this how. nigga is talking to Ayana <laughs> to yeah. fix my life, goddamn. Boy. I was talking about the t- when we riding back and this nigga saying. Oh, that's what we talking about. Oh, okay. Yes. So look. He went all the way left with that. Yeah, I, like, nigga, I thought we were that. always <laughs> friends. <laughs> 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 to me, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. you wouldn't really so, my so what friend. I was really trying to say was, yeah, um, yeah oh, running. Let me drive a car. We were drinking two eleven. You was drinking two eleven. I, I never saw a two eleven in my life. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is it? You were like, it's like, it's like eight ball, but stronger than that. I was like, what the fuck? Stronger than eight so ball. This nigga goes called? to put on glasses. I said, you got glasses for the other eye, sir? Like, yeah, I got a stick with this. I was like, word. This is behind the wheel. He behind the wheel. He got the 211 between his legs. He driving like this. In the rain on the mountains. In the rain. And my abs have never Boy, been so stop. tight. My booty has never been so tight. <laughs> I was in that bitch clenched up like. And we met. I was like, this nigga, all right. He didn't kill me. <laughs> he didn't kill but you was driving like this. And you was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like you were, That's what talk- I saw on TV. That's how people do it. I was say cartoon drive. I'm talking about the road is like. Windy. Right. Like it was a super windy road, and the incline was crazy in Tennessee. <coughs> and I was like, yeah, I ain't going to sleep on this one. Man. Right. So, no, he did go to sleep. I did go to sleep. <laughs> Keep it real. Keep it real. Ronnie going to sleep. Ronnie going to sleep on that road. In fact, I might have said, let me go and just go to sleep in case I die. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> the nigga woke up when we were back on 85. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he woke up on 85 and shit. I ain't got to Because, listen, I couldn't read signs. That's the part where I was trying to tell him. Listen, I, I could drive, but I don't read signs. Get me on the part where we just got a straight shot until we get back to Atlanta, and I got you. And he said, it was, I think 85 goes straight up from Tennessee. There's a part that do that, and we got on that part. And I had drove them last uh, 150 miles. Straight. 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 And he had woke up. And he caught me whining. <laughs> that's that's right. when the, 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 the uh, 211 had. No, when my encounter happened was before I went to bed. Before, I went to <laughs> before sleep. you went to bed. You, you stopped before you started driving. Like, let me get right. I was like, what you oh, got to yeah, get right? Yeah, yeah. This nigga went and powered up with the 211. It yeah, was, yeah. He started his turn to drive <laughs> with, with a, a fresh and crack, 211. And nice and crisp. Come on, now. Nice and crisp. I was the scaredest I've ever been in the car. I was like, this is my new shit. Well, that nigga had a new truck, nigga. He, nigga, my age. You ever, you ever meet a nigga your age doing better than you? Come on, man. And whatnot, and y'all do the same shit, Come but on, you man. not doing the same shit, obviously. Mm, obviously. Yeah, I was working at Applebee's, and he just had, he was doing great comedy, and on every fucking show that was on. B-E-T. And, and, but I really wasn't jealous. I was yeah. trying to see if he could tell me something that where I could get to that point. Mm. I told you about NACA and shit. He did. See? They didn't call me back. You, you can't, it ain't, you, it's, they're not going to call you. You got to just pay and go. You got to just yeah, always I, pay and go. I thought you was bullshit on that part to keep me from. Yeah, man. I'm <laughs> never going to hold it. I'm going to be the same nigga the whole time. Like, well, you, how you say, I fall asleep on this nigga. Oh, I, I, saw, I saw, I like, because the nigga <laughs> had said some astronomical number, like 675 or some shit like that. I'm like, nigga, that's my rent. No, it's more than that now. It's more than that to register now. It's like 1,400, 1,500, 1, something like that. Oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah, but it's like, well, if you get one <laughs> show, you get it back. <laughs> yeah, no. You get one show, you get it back. Yeah, I couldn't take that risk because I wouldn't get no shows. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, when he told me that, There's I was a like, possible I'm, 150 schools there. Yeah, somebody yeah, book, get They you. have to spend the money. They have to. If you make it to the show, it's the hardest part is making it on the showcase. That's You submit your tape. And then they pick you. Ronnie Jordan was the only one making that type of money back then. Ronnie Jordan. Ronnie Jordan was a prodigy in comedy. Like Fresh every off. contest that came out, Ronnie Jordan won. Fresh won off the one bench. Con- just one contest. No, it, it, was, <laughs> it was lots of contests. Every, every comedian wanted to be Ronnie Jordan. Every comedian was searching for the, the, the crescendo jokes that Ronnie Jordan had. Not the and crescendo, has. motherfuckers. They, he, the, Ronnie Jordan had a, 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 a total of seven big finishing jokes within one set. It was unreachable. Crazy. Unreachable the way he, he, he conducted himself on stage. When was the first time you heard the Honey Bun joke? I was at the Rick, Ricky Smiley was hosting this contest to open up for the Kings of Comedy. Wow. And it was at center stage. I'll never forget it. I was sitting out front, man, and, and he, he was 19. I would. I think. I, I think I was probably seventeen or some shit like that. No, I was. I 
I was like 22. You were 22? K Dub was 19. I think I was 22. Me oh, okay. Well, I, well, I probably was like 17, 18 then. Mm. And I, 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 I know him from Uptown Comedy Club. Right. And but then to see him inside this life changing contest and win it with Ricky Smiley, this guy that you see hosting a uh, fucking uh, Comic View and you know just all these different specials and stuff back in the, the, the I want to say 90s early 2000s some early shit 2000s, like that. Yeah. This is like 02, 03. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It it was it was it was phenomenal and it was it felt impossible to even reach that type of plateau. Yeah. It it, it was it, it felt kind of crazy and then at the time my name is Honey Bun. He got this Honey Bun joke. Dude, now was, everybody <laughs> thinks that I stole this nigga's like the nigga that I came got me gave me these shirts right here. That's the first shit he That's said. Right we, we walked in the door together. Me and him walking and together. That's why he mad at me right now. What he we say? Free. What he say? That nigga come. He said, "That's the real honey bun right there." Oh, oh. bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you came to see me. Uh, he came to see me. You know, you know, he, man, that shit. Man, it was a trigger. <laughs> it was a trigger. I didn't. And even I don't think. I don't think. That. I think you should apologize. I didn't want to still dealing with that. I, you gave me all that I, energy. I don't want you to know that I felt this way all these years. But you gave me a lot of bad I, vibes. Over 20, yeah, I'm and sorry. I've never had any ill will to this you, nigga, brother. It's this nigga, man. It's him. I don't even I, know why. I, I why he's still here though? Whole private time when I seen you. That nigga walked up. Honey bun. He honey, don't that real. You. Ah, he butterfly. That nigga. The butterfly. Uh, uh. That's old. Pumps in the pumps. All that shit. Pumps in the pumps. He was so excited. And look at my mind. I'm like, hey, Jack. Nigga, we met on Instagram this morning. You were so excited to be here. That you wear right now. This is a nice shirt, though. Yeah, boy put it on. I put his shit on now. Cause you fuck with him. Cause you you got that. You saw I took your head off, right? You did. I took your head off. I put that bit right back on the table. And I had started back feeling hate. Thinking about it, but y'all both got on do rags. Yeah, yeah. He gave me a ride here too, and I was glad he did when I saw how long it took the show to start. Yeah. So I ain't even know how much shit I was harboring inside from running. Yeah. This was K Dub. Me and K Dub had this same talk before, and it was like, really, I ain't know. He was like, man, I was mad. He said a bunch of shit, and I was like, well, damn, I didn't. I was just. I'm like this. I, I I put my head down and go. He was so focused, and so positive. Yeah. Had some, a great two parent home. People didn't have that. I'm come just, on, man. Yeah, like <laughs> most comedians come from brothels and brothels. <laughs> brothels. <laughs> this this dysfunctional functionality. It was some dysfunction in my house. My parents got divorced. And my dad was they crazy at one point. They came was back. Nurse and his dad. No, my mom's a cop. Doctor, like on some, there was, there was the Huxtables. <laughs> nah, they had a Huxtable background, man. No, that, that's wrong. But yeah, <laughs> it's not. Huxtable. What did they have? What did they have, Ronnie? What do you mean? What did they, What did they have? You see, I'm making him talk. He talk. He normally talks about himself in third person. I'm setting yeah. him up for it. What, <laughs> what do you mean? What, what did What did Ronnie's family have? Man, we what had did your parents love, work? man. We had love. We worked it out. Now my mom and dad got divorced at one point. My dad was And they got to, back together. My dad used to be on some they domestic got violence together. shit, bro. It was, <laughs> they it was got bad. back together. Yeah, they got back together. No, okay. After year counseling and therapy. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, year of counseling and therapy. I say years, that? years, 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 years. Years of counseling and therapy. What what's your dad what was your dad hitting your mama? Yes. He was? Yeah. At one point. And she knew she that he was the right nigga to be hitting her. No, and she was gonna kill him. It. Like she was a cop, so she almost was gonna shoot him a couple times. And it mm. was so that it was very traumatic to see the, the as a child your mom about had. to kill your dad a lot mm. of times. So mm. <laughs> we're unpacking too much. But Bro, I, yeah, I, I don't this, like we, the tone. We done got deep. This is the Michael Vick interview. interview. Right. I was like, <laughs> like, okay, this nigga like proof. Proved you struggled as a child. Because right. he, just, <laughs> you see what he's doing right now. He's trying to like, yo, there's no point where your mama should ever be about to have the upper hand on your daddy inside an ass whooping scenario. <laughs> no, she. He don't know what it feel like on the other side of the fence. Well, listen, we done stayed at shelters before, bro. Like, I, oh, I got that, some stories. Okay, yeah, no, okay. I, I just. Welcome I to the just, shelter club. I've been in the shelter club. You just. I ain't know you was there, bro. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? You never I ain't know you was a lost boy. We all lost boys, baby. We okay, all got a, we all got traumas and stories and things. I'm Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> say it. I'm, say, I'm Peter he Pan. said I'm Peter Pan. Say I'm Peter Pan. I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> I'm Ronnie Jordan. This is more than culture. We're here with Jack. That's Dillon. hilarious. Oh, reset the room. Reset the room. Ass, room. <laughs> <laughs> so how many porn stars did you smash? Because I know you didn't do it on tape. Oh, they gonna give me a five question. Jeez. Okay. Shit. I, 
Hey, a gentleman never tells. Hey. <laughs> we probably like five, six. <laughs> but you was calling me like, I was getting a blow by blow all the time, and it was yeah. the funniest shit. Yeah. Were you no, ever no, like write a book? About, I ain't going in front, but like 20 or some. Some shit like but that. But you was like, you was telling me about like we was you like, man, we've been in the elevator and these ladies just walk up and see Brian Pumper and it, it might crack off. I'm like, in the elevator? Like that. Just like that. Wow. Or was you that dude with Brian Pumper? And when now this is when I'm by myself, because see that 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 porn shit took me to a whole nother level. Like people still thinking that I'm a porn star right now. I've lost that on some really great women because then when you Google me, that's one of the strongest things that pop up. That right. I was with that guy and people thinking that I'm a porn star because I have the interviews with a, a plethora of porn stars. Um, uh, uh, I'm, ne I'm I'm next in the running to be hosting the AVNs when after COVID. Come on, no ABNs. shit. Yeah, what? Man. That's okay. big, bro. That's gonna be one of the cleanest rooms, nigga. That's <laughs> huge. Why you bullshitting? Come on, the AVNs. Hey. Wow. I hope you get that, my well, boy. Well, how, so I know this is what if we was not me then who? Yeah, for real. But look, this is why. Who gonna out squirt a squirter? Come on now. You still <laughs> know, you, you know how I squirt? No, I don't. <laughs> 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 Man, that got, gonna, that to got, got to too weird, to too it. quick, bro. It, it got, it. it was just too fast, it's bro. Just <laughs> oh God! I don't, I don't like how he's able to make eye contact hey, and both of my eyes with yeah. just one eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's his magic power. That's a superpower. That shit fucked me it's up. Amazing. Bro. You should have seen him playing shit. his music for you and watching you listen to it in the passenger side like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this song dope, but I was like, <laughs> I'm trying to this thing like this. He looking like, ain't it dope? Like, I'm like, let me be, let me listen to your shit without you looking at me. Dude. That's amazing. <laughs> but you got some dope ass music. People don't know that you can get a damn sing, nigga. Yeah, man. Oh, it's dope. My mama master. Oh, this I, nigga I, is a, this nigga oh, has what? ballads, Your nigga. mother's a minister, oh, too? Hey, hey, listen, listen. Uh, listen, listen. listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's marry, a lot we don't I'm know gonna, about I'm going to marry an R&B singer. Okay, you know? I, okay. I've dated some cool ones. I, 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 yo, Jack <laughs> Thriller body count is legendary, son. Yo, my nigga, if you, if you bag Anita Baker, my boy. Anita. So I'm close to it. It's 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 very petty. Cool. Look out for my birthday. When I'm uh, make wait till May the seventh and yeah. watch who sings. Patty pies for life. Me. Patty Ooh. pie means something different Ooh. to you. This is back when I was thirty two though. You know I'm thirty nine now. So. Ooh. Oh man, Ooh. growth. But the maturation yeah, of Jack Thriller too. is happening, and we watching it, bro. And, uh, yes, I sir. see. Nah, I'm, you I'm, back I'm, I'm home in Georgia though. I'm back at home in Georgia, man. You know I don't. Welcome back. I, did, back, I back. just uh, signed with eighty five South. Man. Hey. Can we give up the deal? Yeah. 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 Shout out to I didn't think I could make I didn't think I could make it. I deal. thought I had, a, I had a new nigga say, you, you washed up. I thought I was washed up. I thought it was yeah. over for me. No, baby. You created I thought it was done. You just started. Of, do you see your influence on what we do, or what the culture is? Have you, do you, do you I, see I your do, influence? I do, but then how many times do is, is somebody, the Harriet Tubman of some shit, <laughs> and able to <laughs> come back, like the McReal? Like Cool Herc or Melly Matt, one of the, you know, Cool Herc like, posted got that, his That's money. my biggest fear. Yeah, to be Nightmares Melly Mel. of the Bottom. Ooh, yeah, I, like, I love that song. Yeah, me too, nigga. Mm. I don't. Dun, 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 yes, dun, 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 with Lil Wayne. Lil that Wayne. shit real. I, I, when I when that shit came out, that's a sick. Dip, 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 that's on that same album. That's mm. the one he did when he got out of jail. He yeah. did it live and unplugged. Yeah. It sounds better live, but when yeah. he got out of jail, he did that song. Yeah. If yeah. I knew I, I was going to jail, I would have fucked my attorney. That song is hard. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Dang, that's one of my favorite songs, nigga. That's what's yeah. up. And that, that was always. A nightmare for me and so I did my best to stay authentic yeah. true to myself and um uh -oh, no matter when what times had changed and what was the new the new word the new swamp lang or uh, uh, the new style or some shit stay jack thriller you know because I, I, I felt like I was doping up to transcend come on and I did, you did. Yeah, you did and then when it was time to come back around again you know I hit my man Carlos Carlo Miller, yes and, sir. You know, uh, I, love, man, I didn't even know that me and Carlo was same age until about a couple. Was it last week when he turned thirty eight? Yeah, yeah. And you know, and I'm thirty eight right now. I'll be thirty nine May seventh. Okay. And um, is that, what's your? What's, that's not Aries. Is I'm it? I'm a Taurus. Okay. Taurus. The, the, yeah, I'm the very hard headed. The bull. Hey, yeah, man. it's God. I know. Our what birthdays I'm doing. is so far. We a month apart to get birthday. That's what's up. That's what I'm. This is everybody is a month apart. That's what's somebody. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> me and you, nigga. Oh, I, should, I saw what you did. I saw what you did. I saw what you did. Yeah. We are compatible. When you, if you, you're right. Um, you're so compatible. Like, they're talking about his friends. Especially. Yeah, this nigga here. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Hey, man, yeah, so I, I didn't know that I was still eligible for a motherfucker to even think about me for a deal. And yo, this shit feel like I ain't gonna even front. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there. And then I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about it, too. Mm -hmm. This is like Tupac coming to death row. Ooh. I feel like it because it's like this. These are those, that's a media giant right now. Right. And, they, you, they, and they know what to remember, do with you. They know you what remember. to do with you. Yeah. Hey, yo, every time uh -oh. that I ever went to a meeting, what happened? they kept on asking me, man, isn't it some shit that we need to? To know that you ain't telling us about. <laughs> no, I told you everything. Mm. Yeah, this shit, all the Jack Thula shit, real. Right. I, I, I don't tell stories that it's a lot of shit that I didn't tell y'all. Don't make me look good. Yeah. But I'm cool with it. Cause it's real. Can we talk about like yo? Like, we can talk about anything. Well, I remember you had don't you be had a down me. part. Like you had a part. You had like a little struggle. I, it, a my segments. whole shit was down. No, I'm talking about when you uh, when you got attacked by. Your I was girl brandy. If you want to be down. <laughs> that was Brandy. I was just talking about when you got injured, when you when the, when your girl, you know what I'm saying? Remember you told me about that? I told you when I got my ass when I went in goddamn kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, man. So you know, listen. I so it with a girl I was dating, and that's why I don't date young girls no more. When I say young girl, at the time I had just started a show called Sixteen or Better, and I met this young lady. She was 24. I was uh, 32 at the time, mm -hmm. and we was eight years apart. Yeah, and you know that's a big gap if you really think about the it. The whole first grader. It, and I was, you, you did. Mm -hmm. it, um, I, I was, I was always an old school nigga, and you know one thing that about me that I didn't realize at the time how old school I was. Good pussy to me was pussy that knew how to shut the fuck up, and mm. she was awesome at that. So you know when somebody shitting the fuck up all the time and they ain't around you all the time, y'all become closer. Like damn, this is the one that shit the fuck up the most. And so she became my <laughs> girlfriend, and then my then girlfriend. she became my living yeah. girlfriend. Ooh. But it was some shit she had told me before we got when we got the first got together that I forgot. Don't forget that. I forgot because she don't talk that much because <laughs> she see I don't like that. Right? What did she say? I'm she a stripper. Show. And I, I'm a guy, I'm not really, I don't need strippers in my real life. It's cool when you at the club, mm -hmm. but then when you not there, that shit be weird as fuck. All right, so now she live with me, and I'm, I'm, I done turned her into a publicist. I done took off the pole. You cannot take animals out of their habitat. Well, cannot. Wherever you see a zebra at, you gotta leave that zebra there. Yeah. Because they're related to other zebras. Fact. Okay. And so what happened was, I was booked at this strip club. All, through, all up through there. Yeah, I was booked at this strip club where, where my zebra was working at. And I forgot that she was working there. When I say forgot she was working there, meaning I don't even think about when you, she's going to work. Because I don't ask her when she's going out. I'm just glad that she got her own money. Right. So uh, I get to the club and shit, and I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm with, with my guy, the same road manager and shit and we 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 bring my homeboy through and my homeboy i like hey this is my girl such and such and she got a strip outfit on and everything i'm cool with it at this particular point okay even though she do look extremely different right uh, this nigga gets a dance from my girl Ooh. and i didn't notice it until my homeboy kenny butler say hey man look back i look back this bitch on a handstand, and this nigga head is in between her ass, and like, all that shit. I almost had a fucking heart attack. She did the little Nas X move. On her. <laughs> 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 Not the Chung Lee split, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga has a pro One hundred percent, just Chung Lee. You 100% Chung Lee. Chung like Lee that. She, yeah. I'm talking about it with Chinese split. That way too. Oh, man. Yeah, not like this. Uh, it's about this straight nigga, dinner chin, table. His chin was he, in was her he, pussy. You, in that's who he was going to interview, or this is just your homeboy? This nigga had, an, I had this at the time called friend packages, where you, 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 you give me 2500 you could be my friend for the month. Wait, you were, nigga, that's escorting. Yeah, I was, as, <laughs> I was a friend escort. What? Jack Dola friend for twenty five hundred a month. It sounded like you had you could have got your girl <laughs> in pocket and y'all could have really ran it up. We ran it up. Yeah, for but real. I forgot that she was a hoe. <laughs> so after the dance, what happened? So that was it. So you were through with it, right? So this, I, I this was, was one. Like, hey, you can't strip no more. Ah! 
Ah! Hold on. All that shit. But was this one of the, this I was your real homeboy or was this one of the niggas that had paid you twenty five hundred to be your friend? Yes. It was the buddy pass friend. He was a buddy pass friend. With, it, with his pass. with his chin in the pussy. He was chin in, in my pussy. That was <laughs> All right, so 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 look, night. did you say this is my girl? Like this is my girl at the this club. This is my girl. Or or this is my, this is my girlfriend. Did, bro, all woman. of them sound the same to a nigga when you introducing them to him. And, and he might have thought he might have thought he you didn't wanted. Know. It wasn't his fault. Okay. Yeah, he might have thought you wanted it him was, to spend money with fault. her. Yeah. Right. It was my fault. You, you should have been like, this is the bitch you don't touch. Yeah. And now I, now I was like, hey, this is my girlfriend, Ashinka Shay. <laughs> this is my zebra girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah I proudly introduced her because she looked better that night. So she worked there though. Like, well, I wouldn't. I yeah, mean, that's what I'm saying here. It's I'm tough. Saying, I, don't, I don't need all of that. Got it. This is a lot of extra so baggage. Yeah. You saw what I just did? It's a lot of extra baggage dating a stripper. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of You extra You free yourself from that by saying, I don't want to date this type of person. Yes. Because you know how you act in those situations. Shout out to strippers. Clark Kent and Superman at the same what? That type of shit. Oh, so you gonna play Superman, but she can't. So see, you was see, just see, you, you was just did. meeting her. You just met her at her <laughs> powers. Now we had been a year together for a year and going together years. <laughs> but once again, if I if out of out of sight, out of sound, out of sight, out of, out of sight, out of, out of mind. mind. I understand yeah, why so, y'all know that. Yeah, out of mind. yeah. So I didn't <laughs> I didn't put two and two together that she really is stripper. Yeah, that stripper shit, bro. Yeah, I, I dated a stripper for like. Three weeks. You gotta be built for that. You gotta. Want she that tried shit. to move in, bro. Uh, you know what? This she did live with me. Man, that's that's why I, I understand. Said, yeah, and then when she you told know. me that, <laughs> well, you know, I was a stripper too before, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, how you skip that shit? That's funny. Yeah, I mean, I not that we were nineteen. I was. Uh, you I was a stripper. In velvet room. I worked for Alex. <laughs> yeah, bro. I worked in the velvet room and the compound, and I was doing comedy. Yes, at Pinup, Honey Buns when it was with called Guys and Dolls. God damn. I was one joint. of the guys. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> how you, how you, you was built, like how you was, you was muscle. Really, like, hey, uh, you know I was fine as fuck. You remember that? <laughs> you remember that? You remember that? You remember Ronnie, don't act like you don't remember. Ronnie, Ronnie. 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 Tell them niggas how you Come on, Ronnie. 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 Tell them niggas how you And he won your friend in public. Ronnie. Remember, he won your friend in public. I didn't look at Jack Thriller like that. <laughs> right. He wore a chain shirt. He was a muscle nigga. He looked like Ricky Waters, nigga. He looked like Ricky a fucking Waters. <laughs> nigga. N uh, nigga. <laughs> you remember Virgil, the nigga used to be with Ted DiBiasity? Ted DiBiasity. He used to be with who? The Million Dollar Man. Okay. Virgil. Yeah, Ted yeah. DiBiasity. <laughs> Virgil was a referee at first. Ted Velocity. Like, Purchase referee now. I think. I, yeah, I sell the million dollar dream. I used to sell the million dollar dream every night. Come on now. Every night. So bro. you being a stripper should have. So you like just that, like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he looking at you dead in the eye. He's really looking at both eyes. I, I swear to it's, God. It's great. Yeah, bro, you amazing. <laughs> so you didn't want to smoke. So what happened after that? After that oh, night? Oh, so, so, okay. Now. Shit don't work out with me and the girl because I didn't took out a habitat and once again you're supposed to keep zebras inside of the habitat. Correct. Uh, um, I, are we, uh, Our female uh, father's gonna love all these references. So I'm just <laughs> yeah, because the zebra is a very pretty animal. Um, <laughs> 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 I, I, I kick her out of my apartment <laughs> and then um, I, I get, before I kicked out of my apartment, I try to give her something to do and start an online radio show for her and stuff and. She invited people there that like cameramen and shit to do the shit with her. And the people that I had hooked the shit up through that was going off of my name, let me get the show off my name, weren't really fucking with it. So I was like, yeah, yeah bitch, you useless. You got to go. Mm. Um, so I had, this is this 2016. I'm finna get this some good shit right now. Mm. And so uh, I uh -oh. get to, uh, I'm, 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 first, my first stop is Miami, 2016. I'm supposed to go do this show called Drink Champs mm. with a friend, really good friend of mine named Noriega. Mm -hmm. I think it's episode 16. And uh, Check it, out. it was this, this he, I had been into a quarrel with this rapper. <laughs> I wasn't gonna quarrel. bring it up because you told me not to bring up that type of shit. <laughs> 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 and, uh, oh. it, his name was Titty Boy, he changed his name to 2 Chains. Oh, and then Nori was trying to get us to hook back up together. And uh, he he had just did Dame Jackson, um, the other guy that was on the show with me, Comeback Jack. Mm. Rest and, uh, in peace, Comeback Jack. Peace, yeah, rest in peace, because he was on that show. I, I didn't know he was going to die. 
Um, <laughs> y'all gotta, don't, nigga, it's, don't, don't do it, man. Let him. Oh my God. Go ahead, Jack. God damn. This nigga the first troll, bro. Because I was mad at them the time, too. You know how you wish somebody was dead, but they wasn't dead yet? But then they died, and you like, oh shit, that's not cool. That's oh, but hold on, it ain't had nothing to do with me. Okay. But anyway, like I was saying, so we were doing the um the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the podcast. Boy, I am high. Oh, oh, this nigga God. had then call uh the no I said, yeah, Nora was like, yeah, I'm gonna fix shit between the two chain. And then he called two chains and shit. He said, Yeah, I got uh Jack Thriller bitch ass over here. He talking about how the time he had punked you out. Two chains I, w- I don't know wherever he was in the world. <laughs> Yeah. But he saw red. That yeah, nigga he and he, he cursed it. me out <laughs> the way went. I've oh. never been cursed out I'm before in my you, life. Bro. <laughs> and I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought the nigga was, was in the room with me. Like, I've never had anyone that's upset with me before. <laughs> no, you scared. And he like, cause he like this. Now I understood what beef was. Like, hold on, I'm finna die for real. <laughs> This nigga, this nigga said I was pussy, my mama was pussy, <laughs> my sister was pussy, every woman in my family was pussy. That's the first place I heard somebody call somebody a duck. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, nigga called <laughs> me a duck. Uh, you a, you a duck. duck? And I was trying to break that down in my mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what's up? Is that the new shit? Yeah, it is. And I was thinking about Daffy Duck, Donald Duck, all kind of other ducks, and shit, and Duck Duck Goose, and all this other shit. And I was, I, I was so scared because I couldn't. The, 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 that nigga the, the, the code what he was trying to tell me. That right. nigga was, was cussing at you on his tippy toes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't say nothing to me, nigga. Don't say nothing. Nori was trying to fix it, but it was too no, late. No, he, he was stuck. He was stuck. Like he couldn't do shit. He yeah. could. He, 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 he thought he do. FaceTimed me, but he he would cause he, we were drunk. <laughs> but the nigga sobered me up. <laughs> well, yeah, cause you was like, well, whatever, then, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, oh, if that's how you feel. <laughs> but if you. You want to do this, then we can. <laughs> if you really want to hurt me, reluctantly. Oh. <laughs> Niggas sound like a digging getting you said out. If if fight for You don't know who are you fucking probably with, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I'm, I, I wanted to tell him I was sorry. And can we start over? <laughs> Hi, my name is Jack. But he, yeah, he he was he going off with that shit. Um. So anyway, uh, after that, fast forward. Um, the, the nigga called me back to that was that I had made the DJ of that show that I was gonna get my girl. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yo, we getting a lot of responses and shit and whatnot. What you want me to do? I said, yo, t- tell him to t- put out a, uh, a a picture with my face on it and say that we need 20 female co-hosts and we also need 20 uh, cameramen and whatnot and show up at this space um, in two weeks. I had just got booked for Uptown the next week right after I got a phone with him, from Angelo. And whatnot. And Angelo was giving me uh, five thousand dollars, and I needed them five thousand dollars. And but th- it was in Atlanta. Mm. That's what two chains is at. Uh oh. You gonna? I asked him. So you gonna promote this? Uh oh. Because I just got in trouble. Uh oh. Trouble. I just got in trouble yesterday, and I was like. I can't turn this down. My rent is almost due. <laughs> I can't turn it down. And so yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be there. You're right. Send me the deposit. He sent me the deposit <coughs> five minutes after I got off the phone with him. It was twenty five hundred. Come on now, you booked. Now wow. you booked. I'm booked. You got to get on the plane. I booked my flight. I went to uh, Atlanta. I called Clay. Yeah. I, I called Clay. I said, Clay. Middleman. Hey, man, listen. Hey, man. I got, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got Clay. into it with two chains. Hey, bro. And um, I, I think he's going to kill me. And he was like, man, you good. Bye, bye, bye. I'm like, what? I'm good? OK. All right, cool. So I got a phone with him. I called my man, Eddie, from um, high school. Uh, uh, his name, uh, we, he stayed at Snap Finger Crest. We still hey. bring, his name, Eddie English. Eddie English, um, really good friend of mine to this day. And I told him, hey man, I need you to bring the, the, the hood with me. Mm. I'm booked it uptown that week. I need them all five days and bring me two pistols. <laughs> I need the hood. <laughs> me two pistols. And bring me two pistols. Nigga need the hood all five Jack days. Jack Dillard, what so were you going to shoot with your vision, anybody sir? That, <laughs> anybody that, shoot anybody the shit that out of was somebody. mad at me. Right. 
You was finna pop somebody. Hey, nigga, and, and, I didn't care. You would have died running. I know. I've been close. <laughs> Anybody who have came up was, aggressively uh, you, hugging you. People only kill people when they're scared. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Rita, could, Key, could you grab the door? I, I was, Rita, I I was going to shoot anybody that was coming in the name of Buddy. In oh, the name of Buddy. In the name of Buddy. <laughs> but we cool ah, as fuck now. Scary. I send them editable arrangements. I'm trying to get them to bring me out. Editable arrangements. <laughs> I'm trying hey, to man, get them to bring I me out when I do my first that. Netflix. When I first heard it, how mad he was, I was like, what do you do to this thing? That's what he called me to. Like, what you do to two things? I was like, I don't know. In my mind, I'm like, because you know, you know, niggas like that be having them. Them young niggas will do anything Boy, to be yeah, on the radar of a rapper. Do anything. But I'm glad you safe and everything yeah, worked you out. Good, yeah, you Clay, Clay good, man. You, you know, yeah, you, Clay made everything Clay, man. make sense. Clay that makes weekend. it make sense, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Clay for Grand House, Rubicon Entertainment. Shout yeah, so him. I get back, right? <laughs> mind you, now I got a room full of uh, women. I got a room full of cameramen, and I got a radio show that's happening now. What's the name hey, of you? it? Party and party Bullshit. Party and Bullshit. Party Shout out to the Party and Bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, show. 2016. This was the first episode you were shooting? Yes. <laughs> wow. That, and that shit popped all the way off in the midst of the storm. Come on, now. And I was like, damn, God, this how you're moving right now? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, and it sir. was the rebirth of me after a broken heart and everything. And I met this young lady. It turned my world upside down. Mm. And she asked me to marry her. What? And I married her. Like four months later. Come on. Off now. that show. Cause I was trying to fill in this boy from this other girl that I just kicked out that was a scripper that I was with two and a half years. Mm-hmm. Right. The, my, my marriage, the, as soon as we got married, uh, Lil Duval took us to the Dominican Republic for our honeymoon and all this other shit. It was amazing. Mm. We get back, we back, we, we, we went into a tear storm and you know she liked Jack Thriller the idea of him but she didn't like for Renny Pride who I am mm. in real life she wanted me to blow up a little faster than I did and I wasn't where I, I wasn't where I needed to be in by her standards right. and so it was time to get a divorce fuck her so while right. we getting the divorce I, I got no friends nobody that I feel comfortable calling to to vent my my frustrations of this this failed relationship to so who do I call her? Old ex, the one before. I didn't realize how much I had hurt her by kicking her out of my house. And then I, I go on to do this amazing show that was invented for her. Mm. Oh, kick her in the tail, man. Yeah, I didn't put that together. So nah. that was her show originally. That was her show. Wow. And they weren't fucking with it until they you came with back. her. And, they wanted Jack Thriller to be there, but I, I was trying to get her something to do because she was so uninspired at the time. Right. And whatnot, but I didn't know that it, whenever I'm involved in some shit or somebody giving me some shit, they want me to be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, they they had, they was going to 86 her, and if anything, what I should have did was came in and made her part of it. Right. Right. In hindsight, you know. In hindsight. Hindsight. And, and I, he, listen. <laughs> the next part of the story, I'm, I'm about to, to shit on her, but then I'm going to unshit on her. Because in hindsight. You can't put the shit back in. You can't put the shit back in my ass. <laughs> so, he's right, 100%. But what I, what I was going to say is, so I'm not going to shit on her. No, you can't. Because I already told you that. <laughs> You're right. You're right. So, this part of the story. <laughs> Relationship has failed. Show is popping. Um, uh, I, I called this girl back to be my confidant. Um, I didn't realize how much turmoil she had been in while I was going through whatever I went through inside of my relationship, which well, her shit was times 10. Mm-hmm. Um, she had done things she didn't even do with me in our relationship for, for as threesomes and all kind of shit. She wasn't with none, she wasn't gay when she was with me. Mm. But she got gay as fuck. As soon as, as soon as she wasn't with me, they be getting gay sometimes. They be bro. getting gay when you when you break their heart. They turn into like I didn't know this, how much of an effect that I had on this young girl. Cause mind you, I'm older, so the the the, the things that I was doing for her was a little advanced. And when I say doing for her, I'm talking about emotionally. Mm. Cause you, running. How you feel about me right now, right? <laughs> am I am I a great friend? Yeah, you're a good nigga. You know, you, you feel, so if you was a girl, <laughs> right? <laughs> You see, I'm going with this. So, anyway, uh, like I was saying, 
<laughs> right. I don't. <laughs> I hope I don't. Some what? people like I, I get it, man. You see what I'm going. You see what I'm trying. You to showed do. her a, a, a what you you treated her I nice. Her friendship. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you showed her how she. People spoke don't be treated. caring about you. Know shit about me, running. Right, right. You know things about me that the average person don't know, and people know everything about me. For sure. You hear me? <laughs> you know they know me. And you know this girl. Um, I wasn't uh, romantically involved with her when she came back in and listened to all of my, she was my therapist, my wall. And I had a birthday coming up, May 7th. Boom. <laughs> Once again, it's, it's not that far away from here. Uh, this was back in 2018, May 7th. The anniversary of, this, of my eye is about to come up. Yeah, it's about to get bad. So I got this popping ass show called Party and Bullshit. She want to come. Because, of course, she didn't heard about the motherfucker. Right. Through and then that shit popping the fuck off. Right. And then I, everybody who's everybody done been through the motherfucker and shit. I'm taking over New York. I'm an Atlanta nigga. Right. Taking over New York, doing my motherfucking thing. Oh, biggest song. And I had a name to the show. Crazy. And uh, she asked, could she come? And I was like, all right, cool. He said, what you want me to get you for your birthday? Uh, I, I was like, I don't, I don't need nothing, but if you just want to do something, um, my favorite dinner is uh, steak and lobster. Give me a T-bone steak and then, you know, um, yeah, and a lobster. I, look, I go get the lobster myself and whatnot, and then I go get the steak and just, just cook it and shit when I get back to the house, and you just go ahead and go to your job and shit and blah, 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 and we cool. Because once again, I'm not thinking through these the last couple of months, she into me still. Because uh, she spends the night over my house, there's no intimacy or anything because I'm not I'm not in that space with her. I don't even look at her like that no more. All right. Because I'm right. looking for an older woman. And uh <laughs> and so we go to my party. I'm fresh off divorce. You know? I'm fresh off divorce too. And then I'm so used to a different kind of sex at this particular point. I'm fucking multiple bitches at a time, so anything old ain't gonna work for me. Mm. Got it. Uh, uh, and so Brian we go to party and bullshit. She asked me, could she come? I let her come. You bitches licking cake off my face, twerking on me. I'm bad, bad Instagrammy girls. That's on my shit. It's you a, blow a lot of women up. I ain't I, even mention that. You yeah. you you pipe a lot of pages up. <laughs> You get a lot of rappers uh, company. <laughs> the rappers look on your IG store to but go shopping. One, that's nigga. like that's like stock eggs, nigga. nigga. Sneaker stock. LL Cool J yeah. been in my stories. <laughs> and it's a couple of gospel singers in my stories. Too. Shop. I'm gonna show y'all uh, after the show. You're please like, show us the gospel singles. Fuck. It's gonna fuck you up. His IG stories is lit. Hey, listen. <laughs> yeah, my IG stories the fuck definitely lit. Damn, man, I want to tell y'all, but then it's another story to go with this shit. Then that I just fucked up, because if I tell y'all, you going to know that it was this nigga, and it was something sweet for I did for my mama. Yeah. yeah. You got to hear it on another podcast. <laughs> I can't fuck this nigga's career. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> tell us about what you got. You, you want this steak and lobster. All right, so we, we, all right, we, done, we done with the party. She supposed to cook my shit, leave, and go to her job and shit. I get back to the house. Me, um, I get back to my house. It's the a fucking the, the, the steak still in the sink, the lobster ravished. This bitch on my sectional couch, butt naked, laid out. I had just set me up a threesome at two in the morning. It's ten o'clock right now, and I said, "Man, hey, man, man, what the fuck is you doing in there, man? Man, get your ass up, get the fuck out of here." She said, man, just come over here. Let me suck your dick. You, you'll be all right. I said, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Value yourself, Yuck. King. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, By one person, ill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the fuck are you talking? The regular way? <laughs> the regular way? The everyday way? She, yeah. and, and, yo, she said, she, I said, put your clothes on. Get the fuck up out my house, bitch. I said that shit. Okay. As an older man. As an older man. She put on her clothes. And all, <laughs> as an older man, she put on her clothes and she she walked up to me and she said, What what did you say? Said, what you mean what I said? Because it was about five minutes ago now. And, and I, I, she was like, she was like, that, that, will you call me a bitch? I, oh, I said, get the fuck up. 
Get the fuck out my house, bitch. <laughs> say, say, say it one more time. I said, get the fuck up, because I know my script now. Get the fuck up and get the fuck out my house, bitch. Because you try to make my shit about you. This bitch had hit me in my eye, my good eye. Ooh. I only got one eye. Such. You ever play Call of Duty and the blood pop on the screen? Oh, That's no. how it was in my one eye. It was blood on the screen inside my eye. And then my glass eye popped out. And no. my earrings popped off. <laughs> 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 she hit and your reset button. <laughs> yeah, she, nigga, she bitch had my shit. <laughs> oh, God. She, my good eye. And then, yeah, she hit she me in the eye. She knocked the Jack Thriller kit off of you? She knocked my whole kit off. God damn. She knocked my whole kit off, bro. <laughs> and, 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 and I That's was scared up. as fuck because it's blood on the screen. That's fucked up. Oh, it man. It's blood on the screen in my eye. I only got one eye. And I was like, <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Mario Brothers, huh? And, and to get her off of me. And then she got up, she ran. I didn't know what she was running to because I couldn't see no more. And I'm feeling around and she had called the police. The police come to the door. I felt my way to the door and I get to the door and the police were like, oh shit. Hey man, <laughs> your eye hanging out, man. I'm like, my eye, my eye hanging out. Oh, oh. And, and I did this shit right here. No. Oh, shit, I did. It was my eye. And I tried to put the motherfucker back in. It was hanging out of the socket. It was hanging out of my socket. Oh, That's no. She, this bitch, didn't knock my eye out the fucking socket. The good, the good my eye. good eye out the fucking socket. Oh, my God, bro. Because I had a boxing match earlier this year. You can still see? Yeah, I can still see out of it. It was hanging out. Oh, praise man. Praise God. Come on, praise God. Praise God. It I was still my, connected. It was still connected, but it was hanging on the eye string. So you was Ooh. looking at the flow? I was looking at what it was. <laughs> it was blood on the screen. He didn't know what he was looking at. I didn't know what I was looking at. And I put my shit back in. I put my shit back in, and I, they, they, uh, they were like, hey, you want to go to the hospital or you want to go to jail? Uh, I said, nigga, I want to go to the hospital. They were like, but if you go to the hospital, you ain't going to be able to, uh, to get out until they call your shit up. But if you're going to go to jail now, then they'll, they'll put you out and take you to the hospital. I said, well, fuck, take, take me to jail. What with your eye hanging I was, out? I was, I was, yes, with my eye hanging out, and I put it back in, but I had it in wrong. Oh, and shit! I, yeah, shit. I had my shit, my eye in wrong. I went in there, I got to the jail, and it was a nigga at my birthday party <laughs> in jail with me. Uh, I don't know what the fuck he had went to jail for, but I went in there for three days. Which before with you went your to the hospital, bro, my eye fucked up. You should have went to the hospital. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I got out of jail. I got out of jail the, three days later and I came home and I tried to find my other eye. And I was looking around for it. It was under the couch next to a piece of popcorn and a AAA battery. Oh, and, charging and, up. Yeah, it, it, it was just <laughs> <So> miscellaneous <laughs> hanging around and shit. And it was a dead roach, too. Oh, damn. It was damn. right by there. I put my other eye back in, went to the hospital. They said my retina was detached. No. And I needed uh, major surgery. I'm still. I still got to go get the shit fixed this weekend. Running oh, had to come pick shit. me up because I couldn't see how to get all the way here. Um, this is a whole nother story. Can't see the signs. Exactly. Yeah. And so this man, well, mind you, this happened at eighteen. Um, the, I went to the, the, the went to court. Mm -hmm. They finally called me up. The, the judge says, "Hey, uh, we just googled you and shit and blah blah blah, and we see you ain't got no priors or no shit like that and whatnot. But stay away from this this girl." I'm like, nigga, you don't have to tell, tell me. Tell me, nigga. I'm cool on all of that. And then I just, you know, started treating women better after that. When I say treating women better, okay, if any, there's any type of trauma that's going on with uh, a young lady and whatnot, I don't even fuck with no shit like that. No, if sir. it's a young a girl that's not uh, my age or old, I can't even fuck with no shit like that. I had just raised my standards and it just made me a better person because I, I saw that I was making the wrong decisions by um, not giving a fuck. And by giving a fuck, you start to recalibrate exactly who you are mm -hmm. and who you, who you ain't. Yeah. And I had to change my standards to find a good woman. And I said to myself, I tried to make it narrow it down to maybe, maybe it's just New York women. I ain't date no more motherfucking New York women and shit. Then I get this uh, situation with 85 South. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going back home. I'm going to find me a nice little country girl. And I'm cool. Yes, I get sir. down here, and I meet another girl from New York. Mm. 
but she got it going on. She got her own house. She matched my 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 my, my, my crazy. Mm. She's hilarious. She imitates the, her impressions of me is nuts. <laughs> I grew up on her, mm. but that dude, she's like eight years older than me. Um, and she's just what you a, gonna do when she find out you strip? Do we talked about it? Then she think that's hilarious. <laughs> she she just as nasty as I am. Too. That's hilarious, bro. That's what's up. She bro. just as nasty. Yeah, you have no secrets, nigga. Like I don't got no secrets. <laughs> that's and, what's up. And, you know, she's just a, a a wonderful woman. She a grown ass woman. This nigga sound like uh, Al Green after the grits. Yeah, it's basically it's a real. <laughs> but you was like you had you was down for a minute and and, and I'm up, bro. No. All, I'm, all up the way I'm up emotionally. Uh, yeah. I'm up spiritually. You look like it, bro. Uh, Skin uh. glowing and shit. You see me? I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm up here doing 10 miles a day on treadmill and shit. Oh, okay. shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm, I'm, up here, I'm back benching 350 and stuff. Uh, you know? Uh, uh, I feel good. I feel very sexy right now, Ronnie. Uh, I'm happy to be on your show. You know, uh, you know, we about to take it to a whole nother level. I got a record deal on the table, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. For gospel sex symbol. Um, I'm going to run the numbers up real quick. Boy, Gospel stop. sex. Man, you got some of the funniest parody. You were early on the parody game. You got a song, boy. Hit Me Raw, back in the day. You used to go yes, crazy. Yes, yes, Hit yes. Hit You yes. Raw. Yes, You used yes. to go crazy. Man, yo, shout out to uh, Roland Powell, Lil Duval, you know, for teaching me the game and, you know, just paving the way for me to be able to be Jack Thriller and understand what's going on. Paving the way for me to understand for Randy Pride. Mm. And um, you know, uh, uh, and paving the way for making Honey Bun make sense to me now. And even though I knew that people was gonna fuck with me later on, um, yeah, I'm I'm not ashamed of Honey Bun at all. Yeah. And it, pe- yo, all of the people that used to know me before when I was Honey Bun, they won't call me that shit. They go out of their way to they do it right now to make yeah. me remember. That's where I came from. But they they hated it. <laughs> they hated it. all the other reindeers used to laugh and call me man. This nigga is Rudolph. I'm Rudolph. Rudolph, Rudolph, Rudolph. Rudolph, the one eyed reindeer. Rudolph, we gotta gotta do a series with you, nigga. We gotta bring you back. Because you got a podcast coming out with a friend of ours, a friend of the show, Carl Payne. Yeah, Carl Payne, he loved his show. That's my nigga. He he came early, bro. We got old footage of Carl. Carl came. He loved his show. That's my nigga, man. Carl Payne, music soul child. Nigga, y'all, what is it called? Build the Light? Built the light. That's <laughs> all y'all niggas. All y'all niggas the same height. <laughs> 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 you gonna find, you gonna, you gonna find out the name soon. That everybody been, oh, they, they been cussing me out by. Carl Payne ain't no bitch either. He he don't slap yeah. shit out of people in like real yeah. life. You fight for real. <laughs> and goddamn it, nobody know music. He might be a jujitsu master. Them, y'all the niggas who niggas think they can try, but I don't think it. Hey, music ain't the one. Music ain't the one. He ain't the one to try. I don't believe. I believe it too. He's a guy. He from start Philly. Some shit going yeah, he on. from Philly. He, he ain't the one. Oh yeah, Philly niggas be fighting. We we official, and if they, if they ain't official, they got me, and I'm known for some gangster shit. Come on. So now. if you want it, man, I guarantee you, we got some shit that'll change your goddamn mind. <laughs> okay. And no matter what state we go to, no matter what country we go to, hey nigga, bring it on. Well, you mm. home, What's bro? Happening? I appreciate you coming through, man. You home? Hey, that part yes, out. I, I'm trying to come out friendly. <laughs> uh, I, think I mean, it's, it's hey, listen. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. Yes, sir. Hey, li- listen. If you want trouble with us, we gonna call nine one one because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> is it that PSA. time, secret genius? <laughs> yeah, man. I think it is. Goddamn. <clears throat> so yeah, we like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach, where I give the people some words of wisdom. You know who you remind me yeah, of? Uh, you know that nigga that used to be doing all the right. poetry on Outkast album? Big Rube. Big Rube. Yeah, Big you that Rube. guy on this show to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm how accurate I am on it, but, but man, I, I appreciate that. You give me that. You make me feel like I'm home for real. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I ain't make you feel uncomfortable. No, you didn't. You just interrupted me while I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> now you trying to talk. You think it got deeper. <laughs> no, you didn't. He said it got deeper. <laughs> yeah. That's all you did. Oh, you just keep. Oh, you just keep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what you know about champagne here at night? Right, never thought of that shit, bro. That's so funny. Get cash everywhere. Oh, Bitches, air night. Jack. Oh. Very white. Boy. All right. So, yeah, we like to end the shows with a Counting segment. Counting up a million dollars air. 
We call. We just gonna battle it out. We call Sick Rich. Hey, this nigga don't never be the D. Life do it. coach. You don't never be the D. <laughs> well, I get the people some words. Yeah, this is what I sound like. Nigga, you sound sexy, bro. No homo. <laughs> No homo, man. No, for real. I am not attracted to you at all, nigga. You got a good oh voice. Oh, my God. You got a good ass voice, bro. <laughs> that nigga, keep that for promo. Mark this, nigga, please. Nigga, say something else. <laughs> nigga, nigga, this nigga, say something else. I don't he, he trying. <laughs> yeah, you do. You know you do. You know you do. You know you ain't gay. Come on, man. <laughs> you know you're not gay, bro. <laughs> but it's your time. This is your time. This your time, bro. This is what you've been waiting for. It's the love hour. Right now. Oh, Lordy. Nigga. All right. Even man. when you say nigga. <laughs> say nigga out. again, man. Let, let nigga, they had you on goddamn snowfall before a nigga about to get killed. <laughs> that nigga that about to get nigga. <laughs> what? What? What, man? What boy? do you want? Hilarious. What do you want? What are you about to do right now? You gonna kill me? That's what you really gonna do? Come on, bro. I got all your out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. You ready? You sure? I'm ready. All right. Pass the Troy. <laughs> all right, man. So um, we like to end the shows. We got some more <laughs> Segment of called Secret Genius Life Coach. I can fight too. I don't want to. I, I got one. I'll press charges. <laughs> a nigga, I'll tell on you, bro. Like for real, you you sound like people. a nigga that's gonna win. <laughs> you sound like like Get if I was if I was, if I was blind and I heard you, Get I was like nigga, that nigga sounds dangerous, bro. <laughs> you like Daredevil too. You remember Daredevil? Can, that nigga <laughs> with the big A. You can tell can the you let him? Can you let him end our show, please? Let, let's yeah, please. We gotta, let's, gotta, let's, we gotta do it. We had a whole program. Um. <laughs> yeah, the words of the week <laughs> you don't, is this. You want to make this last forever, don't you? <laughs> did we have a good time? Yeah, we did. Yo, the words of the week. I miss you, just in case you don't see me no more. Aaron Hall. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm talking to you. What, what's the nigga name again? It's come on. Come on, I miss you. <laughs> Holding you in arms, Lynn. Yo, he won, man. The show, <laughs> show over with. Show more, over. The, more the culture is the brand. <laughs> you t- you t- more the culture is the brand. This is the more the culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, no Ronnie Jordan. Special guest, Jack Thriller. Cut the cameras off. Yeah! He done played,